Hello and welcome to the news update on Enterprise TV. I'm Choma Okohe. The group of opposition lawmakers in the House of Representatives, known as the J60, has said that the use of dynamite explosive by protesters in River State will end democracy if not stopped immediately. The group regretted that despite calls by the police for suspension of the planned protest over the local government tenure elongation crisis in River State, some persons defied the order to stage a protest. The development resulted in the death of one person following the denomination of a dynamite explosive in front of Hotel Presidential Abba Road in the state. The state government says it has since found the culprit in the act. In a statement signed by the spokesperson, Honorable Ikenga Ugochinyere, the group stated that the use of explosive by the protesters was an invitation to anarchy which must be averted. They called on President Bola Tinumbu to direct the Inspector General of Police and the Department of State Service, DSS, to find out who financed the use of explosive at a protest and find out whether there are other explosives that have been planted in different corners in River State. And moving on, the Academic Staff Union of Universities, ASU branches across 53 federal universities are currently mobilizing their members to prepare for another showdown with the federal government. They have asked the federal government to address the lingering issues affecting universities to avoid another disruption of academic activities on campuses. Recall that the warning is coming on the heels of the ongoing battle between the federal government and the labor unions over a new living wage. ASU's latest move comes as the federal government drags its feet in reaching a new national minimum wage with organized labor. Still on the minimum wage, members of the organized labor, the Nigerian Labor Congress, NLC, and the Trade Union Congress, TUC, have scheduled an emergency meeting following the decision of the Federal Executive Council to defer the memo on the minimum wage. A senior officer at the NLC headquarters noted that the meeting would take place at Labor House Abuja at 10 a.m. on Wednesday. The agenda is to discuss the next step to take following FEC's decision to postpone discussion on the report of the Tripartite Committee on New National Minimum Wage. And moving on, the Sokoto State House of Assembly has passed the Sokoto Emirate Council Amendment Bill through first and second readings. If passed into law, the amendment bill will strip the Sultan of Sokoto, Alaji Saad Abubakar III, of powers to appoint the kingmakers and to appoint district heads without government approval. Among other things, this comes a day after the Muslim rights concern Merik raised the lamb about an alleged plan to dethrone the Sultan of Sokoto by the Sokoto State Governor, Ahmed Liu. Marek's Executive Director, Professor Isaac Akintola, expressed that the Sultan's role is not only traditional, but also religious, extending beyond Sokoto to cover all Nigerian Muslims as their spiritual head. The state government, however, denied any plan to dethrone the monarch describing the allegation as false. The State Commissioner for Information, Sambo Danchadi, explained that the law guiding the appointment of the traditional rulers in the state had not been changed. In foreign news, Kenyan President William Ruto said his country had experienced an unprecedented attack on its democracy after demonstrators invaded parliament on Tuesday. In mass protest against planned tax hacks, Ruto said legitimate protest against his policies has been hijacked by a group of organized criminals. He warned that his government would use all means at its disposal to prevent a repeat of the violence at whatever cost. On Tuesday, protests against the controversial finance bill rocked the country and turned bloody with no fewer than 13 dead and more than 30 injured as police fired tear gas at protesters outside the parliament and used live ammunition at the moment. Ruto has said, has still not said whether he will withdraw or support the finance bill. That's all on the news update for today. Thank you for watching. I'm Choma Okohe.
Enterprise TV, a tradition of truth.